Hi, I'm Althea Papenzak and I'm the Founder and National Director of Women in Design and Construction, or WIDAC. Women in Design and Construction started around five years ago when I came over from uh, the retail and hospitality fit out part of construction and moved over into commercial construction. I actually found myself at a kind of different point in my career and I wanted to go out and meet lots of um, other females in construction. And when I started attending some networking events in Brisbane, uh, I didn't find a lot of them really suited me in terms of what I was looking for. And I had an events background and I thought to myself, you know, I know lots of women in design and construction and engineering, I should get them all together and through my own networking event. And so I did, and our first networking event was 20 women in a pub uh, in West End, and they all loved it. And I guess the rest from there was kind of history. Our intent from the beginning was to make this kind of really welcoming platform. And so all of the topics that we talk about are always done in a very un kind of filtered way. So whether it's, you know, intergenerational harmony in the workplace or why gender diverse teams make better teams. In the past, we've done overcoming the workplace bully. Like we've never been afraid to talk about the topics that really need to be talked about in a really open and honest way. If you have a project team where you've got males and females and even from different age groups and different backgrounds, you've got greater diversity of thought. And that just means everyone feels welcome, everyone feels included and, you know, everyone feels appreciated. So in the 15 years that I've been in construction, I've seen a huge shift. I think there's still a lot more work to go. I'd like to see more females in trades. I think trades is one where we're still really heavily underrepresented. For the female engineers who are now in kind of director level positions, they were told, why do you want to do engineering? You know, that's, it's not a subject for girls, you know, and they pushed hard against that and became these incredible engineers and these incredible leaders that we have today. You'll always need people to build buildings that we're all going to inhabit. So construction is one of those industries probably, you know, weathered the last two years quite well. Um, but I do know a lot of people who in the construction industry, even kind of future proofing past that and looking at, you know, those new and emerging fields like um, BIM and all the amazing things that I think are kind of those technology kind of subsets of our industry and how they're kind of going to, um, you know, continue to kind of evolve into the future. But for women in construction, I think we'll keep seeing more and more females coming into the industry. I think there's a lot of great opportunities. What I want to see and want to make sure we do see is more females moving into more senior positions within construction. I think there's still a really big lack of women at the top. And there's a lot more grads that I see every year, you know, or cadets coming into the industry. And there's definitely lots of, you know, females kind of moving up through the ranks, but there's still a really big gap at the top. Every kind of female needs to make sure that she's got a champion or an advocate that she's working with. But it also comes down to women making sure that they're learning how to promote themselves well. I think a lot of us think that if we, you know, we just sit back and we do really good work, it'll get noticed. And we shy away from maybe being really good at promoting ourselves and the work that we're doing because it's seen as a bit cocky or um, you know that we're showing off. But I think there's also, there's that next level of your career as you keep getting kind of um, further along where eventually you need the leaders in your business to say to you, if we're going to move you up to that next step, I think we need to start getting you some experience in X, Y, and Z. And if X, Y, and Z, you know, involves kind of, you know, those moves up into leadership positions, they need to be comfortable letting you in on, you know, kind of um, senior leadership team meetings or, you know, kind of strategic planning days so that you can start to develop, you know, those skills and that experience to be promoted up you know through it through the industry I actually had someone ask me today one of my staff members say you know what what do you want this year to look like for WIDAC and I said just consistent and no more surprises would be great we've had to really really change and adapt in as events-based business over the past two years we were doing plans that were for the year and then we'd tear them up and do a six-month plan then we'd tear them up and do a three-month plan uh, and then we just stopped planning and we just went with the flow um, and pivoted and changed and adapted whenever we need to. Coming into this year over the next 12 months, I just want to deliver the calendar of amazing events that we have planned without any more um, big surprises coming our way, I think. So for the next 12 months, we just want to do as much in our community, getting people back together as we can, um, because I think that's, that's where it is for us. That's what we love doing. Thank you.